Hi and welcome, Lisa here for Trinity Stamps. Thanks for joining me for another card video. So today I'm sharing a very quick and simple birthday card using these sweet surprise stamps and coordinating dies. I'm getting started with a piece of Bristol Smooth paper in my Misty. I'm gonna arrange the cupcake stamp, add a little bit of anti-static powder to the paper for heat embossing, and then stamp the image using Versamark ink. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the image with gold emboss embossing powder. Do any necessary cleanup with a small brush. And then I'm gonna come in with a preheated heat gun. Now you need to make sure that your gun is hot before taking it to the paper. Try not to shake the gun back and forth. And when the heat hits the powder, it should start melting immediately, allowing you to easily chase that melting powder with the heat gun. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of clean water to my image. And I'm gonna use real brush pens to add a little bit of color to this image. I'm gonna use a light gray on the wrapper and then a combination of a light brown and a fleshy peach color for the cake, and then almond pink for that icing. Now I ran this through the die cut machine with the coordinating die, and while I was over there, I went ahead and ran that small word die suite that comes with the set through the machine with gold glitter paper and a few extras with white cardstock to allow me to stack these together for dimension. I'm just using my own point glue to glue these together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere them to the center of that cupcake. So I decided that the card base was just a little stark and plain. So I'm gonna use a blender buddy and I'm gonna apply some summer sky ink to the center. I'm gonna start right there in the center with a very light touch and blend outwards. And as I'm blending outwards, I'm fading that ink out. So that helped a little bit, but I decided to go ahead and run the card base through my Big Kick in an embossing folder. Now, any embossing folder you have will work. Now, once I've run it through the Big Kick, I'm gonna add mounting foam to the back of the cupcake and go ahead and center that on the card base. So I stamped the sentiment on 80 pound cardstock with my Versa Fine Onyx Black ink. <laughs> And I used the sentiment from the Sweet Surprise stamp set. And then I just ran it through the die cutting machine with the banner die from the coordinating die set. I added mounting foam to the back of that sentiment strip and adhered it to the card base. And then I'm going to finish this card off with some jellyfish jewels. And that's going to bring us to the end. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. For more information about the products I used, please head over to the Trinity Stamps website. As always, know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I hope you have an amazing day.